Hi, we're reading Phoebe and Her Unicorn by Dana Simpson. Please subscribe to my channel, Roz Reads. We look forward to reading more books with you. And we left off on page 58. Aren't you gonna eat breakfast? Oh, I thought I would have my breakfast on the go. Mom says this is expensive sod. I can tell. I'm glad I don't have to eat grass. You are only jealous because you cannot digest cellulose. I can sew. All right then, let's see. I don't want to right now. I'll wait. I declare our slumber party complete and a success. And I have to say, it may be my greatest achievement yet. Mine is still the time I discovered the color blue. Not that I had heard about. Nobody before you had ever seen a blue thing? Not that I had heard about. Mom says I can grow up to be anything I want, but that's not really true, is it? There are tons of things I can never be no matter how badly I want to. A gazebo, cookie monster, John Quincy Adams, a lamp, a teapot, a bowl of apples. And yet you do manage to be bananas. A scooter, a platypus, the crab nebula. Ponds don't move that way. That one is Pongelica, the magical princess who roams the board. You made that up. Checkmate. Let's play a game I'm good at. Something like, uh, I don't know. Who has the most fingers? I would prefer a best tail contest. Let's play something nobody wins or loses, like detective agency. I'll be intrepid sleuth, Phoebe, hard-boiled son, and you'll be, um, my desk. Because I have four legs, that is typecasting. My car? Maybe you should be my sidekick. Every great detective needs one. Maybe you should be my sidekick. All right, we'll settle this democratically. Excellent. All in favor of Marigold being the sidekick, raise your hands. How about rock, paper, scissors? Scissors beats paper, you win. Did you just switch to cheating in my favor? Nope, I just did it wrong. How about if nobody's the sidekick? See, my logo combines our names and features in a perfectly equal way. Phoebe Gold, Detective Agency. Oh my, equality isn't always pretty. What is up? I'm trying to create a comic strip. It's called Bickle the Fickle Pickle. Does it have a story? No, it's more of a slice of life thing. Get it? Slice? Pickle? Ha 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 Too subtle? Now I am hungry for pickles. The next thing we need is a mystery to solve. Know of any? We could investigate the inexplicable magic that is sunlight on dewy morning buttercups in a Sylvian Glen. That's not very gritty. You did ask a unicorn. I used to have an elephant pencil topper. It disappeared last month under mysterious circumstances. That's what we'll investigate. Any leads? 
I suspect it's the work of my arch enemy. You have an arch enemy? I must, or where's my pencil topper? Ding dong. Hello? Hi, is Dakota home? Are you a friend of hers? Actually, I think she's my arch enemy. Just a moment. Dakota, a strange little girl and a unicorn in a Sherlock Holmes hat are here to see you. Princess Stupid Butt? What do you want, your majesty? I suspect you of theft. Do you now? I have a warrant to search your room. That's just a piece of paper with warrant written on it. I told you we should have worked harder on the warrant. You posted this photo online. I can clearly see an elephant pencil topper on your desk, just like the one I mysteriously lost. So? So this is the part where my brilliant detective work makes you fold like origami. You're weird. And you're doing this wrong. Nuh-uh, uh-huh, nuh-uh, uh-huh. Children, I believe I can settle this fairly. Dakota, because you took Phoebe's pencil topper, I shall give her your you topper. Ah! Ooh! Now, is everyone happy? Ah! She is upset. You zapped her hair off. That is a big deal? Yes! You humans are mostly bald anyhow. I did not know you cared so much for what little hair you have. Uh, I can actually kind of see your logic, but what is a tiny bit of extra pink in a sea of fleshy human disgustingness? Remember what I said about knowing when to stop talking? Where did Dakota go? She went, ah, I said, where? Sorry, we need to find Dakota and fix her hair. Agreed. Her emotional reaction could pose a threat to the stability of the shield of boringness. I guess we have a, a new case then, which we got by utterly botching our original case. That one was a practice. Can you fix Dakota's hair? Of course. Can you fix her personality? Why aren't you more impressed that I can fix her hair? She was headed into the park. Let's split up and meet on the far side of the pond. Let me see your phone. Zap. By establishing a magical link to your phone, I will be able to send you text messages. Unicorns have magic texting powers? The invention of cell phones has made it much more useful. Phoebe, I think I see Dakota. I doubt it, I'm looking at her right now. On closer inspection, I'm looking at a gumball machine. I won't tell her you said that. What are you doing here? I'm playing irritated birds. How's that going? The birds are less irritated than I am. I'm glad I don't have to walk on four legs. Four legs is much better. How would you know? I could stand on two legs if I choose not to. Prove it. Watch me. Stock. I wish I'd planned that. See? Now I am standing on no legs. What are you doing here? 
looking for you. I wanted to tell you, even though you're mean to me, I'm sorry my unicorn zapped your hair off. I now understand that hair is far more important than pencil toppers. That's a stupid moral. At least it's not a cliche. I'll need you to shield your eyes as I perform the unicorn summoning ritual. Come over here now. You're just texting. I said to shield your eyes. So um, this is a nice spot. It's my favorite. Is it your thinking spot? Thinking spot? Yeah, for doing your serious thinking. Do I look like a nerd? You kind of look like Lex Luthor, but I guess that's unhelpful. I am here. Meh. Oh dear, this is very bad. What is? Dakota's shock at losing her hair has distorted the shield of boringness into something far worse. The terrible vortex of meh. Are you just making these up? Dakota, Marigold says she can fix your hair. Meh. Something must be done. The vortex of meh, if not stopped, will spiral out of control. Do you understand what a disaster that would be for the world? Meh. You see? Eep! We gotta do something. So what do we do? This. Shield of boringness down. Whoa. Yes, bask in my wonderfulness. This is less charming when you've heard it a couple times. If I asked you to, would you bring me the moon? No. Why not? Because it would not make you happy. Your room is too small. You would have nowhere to store it. Also, untold millions would perish. Okay, so just write Phoebe rules on it in giant letters. Behold my glory. Okay. Stop beholding her glory now. Okay. I guess since you're friends with a unicorn, I won't call you Princess Stupid Butt anymore. Thanks. Also, thanks for never thinking of Feeble Phoebe. Or Dweeby Phoebe. You two are killing me here. I'm almost sorry you got your hair back. You could have been my Lex Luthor. You'd be all bald and evil and I'd devote my life to foiling your villainous schemes. In fact, is it too late? I have about 50 pounds of hair, or I'd walk the rest of the way home now. Well, this is my house. Hey, unicorn, can we talk privately? How about you ditch the weird kid and be my friend instead? Phoebe is my best friend, and I'm bound not to ditch her. Gah, why? She hit me with a rock. I'm sure there's more to it than that. I don't, and I don't want to know it. You will be my unicorn someday. What was that about? I believe she envies you. This is a good day. Did you leave my Sherlock Holmes hat in the park? I guess Dakota learned her lesson though, right? She'll never take my elephant pencil topper again. I'll just make a note of that in my journal. Am I the bad guy? You are a challenge. Marigold, look it! No, look it, look it, look it! I have seen. I get it, you're jealous! Nonsense. 
I have simply heard all I need to about the opposab opposability of your thumbs. J-E-A-L-O-U-S-Y makes you green like key lime pie. I guess I failed at being a detective. There is no shame in failing sometimes. Every great success is the result of many previous failures. Let me tell you about the first time I failed at not being perfect. You had me and then you lost me. I hope Dakota's gonna be okay. You needn't worry about her. I have taken care of that situation. Did you turn her into a carrot or something? Do I look like a first year magic student? Dakota may be unpleasant, but like you, she has now seen past the shield of boringness. Now all of our destinies are entwined forever. Forever? Or just for a while, it is not an exact science. One who has beheld a unicorn only to feel rejected can become, become quite dangerous indeed. So next month, I have to let Dakota ride me into her birthday party. Oh, but I'm not invited, is that it? You are invited. How come I have to go? I am detecting ambivalence. I guess I'm disappointed. I want you to be my unicorn, not Dakota's. Ah, oh, never fear. I am doing something nice for Dakota, but you are still my best friend. I am your unicorn. Thanks. And you are my small creature with dots on her face. They're called freckles. Anyway, forget about Dakota for now. For how long? What? I need to know how long a spell of temporary memory erasure to cast on myself. Why must you unicorns be so literal? Why must you humans be so fanciful? Dakota's four months older than me, but I'm still not the youngest person in my grade. I'm a month older than Jimmy and two months older than Declan. How old are you, Marigold? I do not know. You don't know? Unicorns are not so bound by time. So how do you know if you're better than somebody? If they are not me, I kind of assume it. You have an interesting tail. Thank you. What's it for? It does for the back of me what my horn does for the front of me. Get stuck in things? Makes me look elegant. Would my butt look more elegant with a tail like yours? I suppose it might. You think? Technically, one deepens the ocean by spinning in it. I could give you a tail if you truly wished. That's okay. I don't think my parents would like that much. They are traditionalists? Well, they're humans. Eh, that was uncalled for. I think I want my parents to meet you. Hey dad, I'm gonna bring my best friend for dinner tonight. She's a vegetarian and she won't need a chair or any silverware. No, I'm like 99% sure she's not imaginary. You did not tell your father that the friend you are bringing home is a unicorn? I doubt he'd have believed me. I haven't had many friends and you're a pretty unusual kind of friend. The kind who lets you sit on her. My previous friends would not have been cool with that. If I am to have dinner with your parents, are there any human customs of which I should be aware? 
All I can do is give you the advice my mom always gives me. Don't eat like that. You weren't raised in a barn. Does it make a difference if it's a magic golden barn? I think there's a larger point. All right, friends, thank you for reading with us. Please check out the channel at Roz Reads and like and subscribe. We'll pick up on the next video. Thank you. Bye.